Hey guys, this is what's for dinner tonight in LG's Kitchen, Chalet and Sea Bass. Go to my page to see how we made Hey guys, it's your girl Tamika from LJ's Kitchen. And I wanted to share a quick recipe with you that I wanted to uh, do tonight for my delicious Chalet and Sea Bass. So look how nice and thick it is. It costs a pretty penny. It's about $45 a pound. But I'm gonna show you how to make a really quick um, and flavorful um, meal with this. So I also have some zucchini and some yellow squash, um, shallots and uh, garlic, and I'm gonna saute those up as well. I have an heirloom tomato um, that will accompany it. But this is panko breadcrumbs, about two teaspoons. I'm going to put equals equal amounts of uh, Parmesan cheese. I have my Parmesan cheese here. And I'm going to stir those together just like so. I'm going to add in, you can add in some lemon pepper. I'm going to add in a little bit of Creole seasoning or Cajun seasoning. And this is actually uh, Joe's stuff and it's a hot seasoning that I got from New Orleans. I'm going to add in about maybe just a teaspoon of that and stir it together and also add a couple of teaspoons of my favorite, um, I, I think it's called Azaro uh, lemon olive oil. I'm just going to add just a bit of that in there and I'm going to stir that around and it has like lemon uh, flavors in it and I'm going to top my fish with this. This is going to be amazing. Just watch. So I'm going to take some uh, sea salt and this is my uh, mesquite smoked sea salt and I'm just going to add just a couple uh, pinches of this sea salt. Be sure to wipe down uh, your uh, seasonings after after use because you want to make sure you don't cross contaminate all right so i just put a little bit of uh, sea salt on there and wipe my hands off get some pepper on there just a little pepper um i'm going to drizzle just a little bit of olive oil and massage it in really good all right you can use white pepper for this as well and then i'm going to flip it over and massage just a little bit more olive oil on this and then I'm just going to top it with the breadcrumb mixture just like so and pop it into a 450 degree oven and, to, and then let it get nice and golden brown so now I have my shallots and my onions or my shallots and my garlic and my mushrooms and I'm just going to um, cut my mushrooms up fairly large because I want to just saute this and I have some green beans as well and um, I want to saute these in some uh, olive oil you can use regular olive oil or any kind of flavored olive oil um, I have some garlic comfy in my in my refrigerator that I made like a month ago and I can use that as well and that oil because it's all flavored with the garlic um, but just to let you know this is like something simple and it's still healthy and we're just going to use like a little bit of sea salt and we're going to saute all this stuff together okay so our, our pan is really really nice and hot I'm actually going to turn it down to medium because it was on high the whole time I'm just going to use a little bit of olive oil. You can use olive oil. It's a little hot, so I'm going to take it off the stove. Um, you can use olive oil if you want. You can use uh, some um, plain olive oil or, you know, flavored. It's a little hot. And I'm going to put those green beans right in. go for a minute. I'm going to add in my shallots. I'm going to let that go for another minute. We want to add in our garlic 
really, really close to the green beans being done because we do not want the green beans and um, the garlic to burn. So we're going to do that. And we're going to let this go for just about two minutes before uh, we put all the other vegetables in. So this is really simple, guys. So you don't want your shallots to burn, but you want them to get nice and translucent. And that oil being flavored with that lemon is amazing. I'm just going to, at this point, just salt my green beans just a little bit. And I'm going to add in some red pepper flakes. Meanwhile, our fish is in there in the oven, in the convection oven. So if you have an air fryer, use your air fryer. It's the same thing. <laughs> you guys, crack me up with that convection oven thing. So now, before I even add in my garlic, I'm going to add in my, my squash and my mushrooms. Just like so. Let them go for a minute and then I'll add in my garlic. At this point, I'm just going to give this a quick toss. This smells amazing. And the green beans are a little charred. And I'm going to put a lid on this in a second, but I'm going to tear up just a few basil leaves that I have from a basil plant. And I'm going to tear those up to finish this off. And then I have one whole tomato. And look, our fish is ready to come out of the oven. And it's only been about about uh, 15 minutes. Stir this around. Guys, the convection oven is the same thing as your air fryer. So if you have a convection oven, you don't need to buy an air fryer. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put a quick lid on this. And you are going to, whoops, don't want to lose my camera. Look at that. We're going to put a lid on this for about two minutes, and then it's going to be amazing. Promise. Look, our fish just came out of the oven. Ooh, it's hot. But look at that. It looks amazing, right? All right, we're going to plate all of this, then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so look at how perfect this fish looks. I'm just going to squeeze because it just came out. Make sure you don't get seasoned it like I just did. Um, but it just came out of the oven. I'm just going to squeeze a little lemon juice over it. Yes, honey. This is restaurant quality. So that lemon is going to give a nice citrus taste to it. This is still really hot, so make sure... It doesn't stick. Okay. We can take the glove off though. Put it right on top. Let me move this back. Let me move this over. Look how pretty that fish looks. Look at that. Look how pretty that looks. So we're going to put it right on top of these asparagus. And then we are going to get... Uh, those vegetables in. We are going to plate some of these vegetables. These are how the vegetables turned out. Nice and hot. You can smell the basil and the garlic. So we're just going to plate just a little bit of this right on the side. Maybe on both sides. How about that? I'll leave it on one side. Sometimes I'm indecisive, but look at the tomatoes go so good with the basil and these vegetables. Look at that. And look, that's what's for dinner tonight in LJ's kitchen. That is dinner. You don't need no more than that. You can do this if you want to learn how to make restaurant quality food at home in your kitchen. I definitely can teach you. So make sure you contact me in my DM and I will show you how to make restaurant quality food at home. I'm your girl Tamika 
from LJ's Kitchen and bye for now. Look how delicious my dinner turned out. Asparagus, we had some zucchini and squash and tomatoes and basil. But look at the star of the show is my Chilean sea bass. This is so delicious. I'm your girl Tamika from LJ's Kitchen and bye for now.